Hello, can you believe the sitcom The New Statesman was released 36 years ago? Many of us grew up attached to the TV screens. I think it would be fun if you and your family sat on the couch and watched this movie again with the entire cast of then and now. Where are these actors now, who made it to Hollywood and who passed away? Find the answer in our video. Michael Trotton was born on March 2, 1955, in Hampstead, London, England. He played the character Pierce Fletcher Dervish in the sitcom when he was 32 years old in 1987. He is now living happily at 68. A brain like that? <laughs> How did you ever get to be an MP anyway? Oh, but then of course, your constituency is south of Watford, isn't it? Where they'd elect a ha Anybody remember Minder? Yeah. I mean, he's on gold most of the time, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Rick Mayor was born on March 7, 1958, in Marching Thai, Essex, England. He played the character Alan B. Stott in the sitcom when he was 29 years old in 1987. We regret to inform you that in 2014, he passed away at 56, leaving us deeply saddened. The Chief Constable of East Yorkshire, Sir Malachi Jellicoe, who has ensured that this election has been conducted within the boundaries of the law. First World War. You never kind of think of it as sex, but Flash Art comes on and his gear is so sex. I mean, it's just total 200% sex. Berwick Kaler was born on October 31st, 1946, in Sunderland, County Durham, England. He played the character Jeff the Queer in the sitcom when he was 43 years old in 1989. He is now living happily at 76. Well, let's see, how can I put this tactfully? <laughs> Is it true you're the star of the hottest porno flick on sale in Hamburg today? I don't sell it to any, anyone else. I mean, we see faces there, they're 60 years old, 70 years old. They, they were bands. Marsha Fisselen was born on March 10, 1953, in Bonn, West Germany. She played the character Sarah B. Stott in the sitcom when she was 34 years old in 1987. She is now living happily at 70. How's the game show going? Well, never mind the show. What the hell do you think you're playing at? What do you mean at this precise moment, darling? An inch to the left, Hugo. To forget that someone saw fit to name the Munchies. I said I tried to forget. Hmm. <laughs> Steve Nolan was born on November 8, 1960, in Leeds, West Riding of Yorkshire, England. He played the character Margaret Thatcher in the sitcom when he was 27 years old in 1987. He is now living happily at 62. Oh, for God's sake, Dennis, do go back to bed. <laughs> Never work. But it's always the quiet ones who sit at the back. And I was the one that sat at the back and sort of made notes and, and very said. Nick Stringer was born on August 10, 1948, in Torquay, England. He played the character Crippen in the sitcom when he was 39 years old in 1987. He is now living happily at 75. Eat! Are they? What a shame! <laughs> if this terminal wasn't patrolled by heavily armed members of your anti-terrorist squad, I'd give you a good smack for that. Well, there you are! Quite often if I've kept any of the streets, but... The only one I kept, I didn't keep that one. I didn't keep uh, Go West, Young Man, because as I've already said, it was like sort of, it was. Benjamin Withrow was born on February 17, 1937, in Oxford, England. He played the character Patty O'Rourke in the sitcom when he was 54 years old in 1991. We regret to inform you that in 2017, he passed away at 80, leaving us deeply saddened. With strategic briefing papers. Oh, yes. And in exchange for what? And we haven't got any money, it's all gone on dialect coaching. John Smith's taking ages getting over that Eton accent. Um, then I was in it again ten years later with Jonathan Miller and I played Snake and I took over Joseph's Circus. Uh, Crabtree's really now the only part I could play. I Peter Salis was born on February 1st, 1921, in Twickenham, Middlesex, England. He played the character Sidney Bliss in the sitcom when he was 66 years old in 1987. We regret to inform you that in 2017, he passed away at 96, leaving us deeply saddened. Order. Yes, I have had a pretty good day, Sydney. How about yourself? 
me, sir? Oh, well, I haven't had a good day since they abolished hanging. <laughs> you did promise to bring back the rope. Both sitting in the same aisle, and he leaned over and waved at me, and I waved back. Trust me, Peter. What's your favorite? John Nettleton was born on February 5, 1929, in Sydenham, London, England. He played the character Sir Stephen Baxter in the sitcom when he was 58 years old in 1987. We regret to inform you that in 2023, he passed away at 94, leaving us deeply saddened. <laughs> and to think, I left my sickbed for that. I have no words to express my abhorrence for this <laughs> Charles Gray was born on August 28, 1928, in Bournemouth, Hampshire, England. He played the character Roland Gidley Park in the sitcom when he was 59 years old in 1987. We regret to inform you that in 2000, he passed away at 71, leaving us deeply saddened. I never touch anything French. The last time I touched something French was in 1940. <laughs> Her name was Giselle. Terence Alexander was born on March 11, 1923, in Islington, London, England. He played the character Sir Greville MacDonald in the sitcom when he was 66 years old in 1989. We regret to inform you that in 2009, he passed away at 86, leaving us deeply saddened. Unless my information is incorrect, and William Shakespeare really was a patron of the elite sauna parlor. <laughs> I suppose it's money you want, eh? John Woodvine was born on July 21, 1929, in Tynepier, South Shields, England. He played the character Sir Malachi Jellico in the sitcom when he was 58 years old in 1987. He is currently living happily at 94. Mm. 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 Oh, the Almighty thinks we'd be very silly not to keep this very useful hold over you while this. Vivian Hilbron was born on May 13, 1944, in Glasgow, Scotland. She played the character Beatrice Prothero in the sitcom when she was 43 years old in 1987. She is now living happily at 79. Leave him now. Nice, messy divorce with lots of unwelcome publicity for him. Aren't you being a little vindictive, darling? Yeah, he deserves it. Tell me who is your favorite character in the sitcom The New Statesman and share your thoughts on the deceased actors by leaving your comments under this video. Remember to support us by liking, subscribing to the channel, and pressing the bell to receive my upcoming videos. Thank you and see you again.